Okay, we're up to section 8 in the code of this survival analysis in R online uh, screencast. And we're going to just continuing this process of trying to understand our data and to demonstrate some statistically significant differences between um, certain variables. So section 8 <coughs> does that. Um, remember earlier we looked at some plots that show differential survival curves uh, between different um, different variables back in section 3 um, we did a, f a few of those let's just look at one of these here um, something like this right so this visually showed us that there was a difference between um, that the, the, in this case the level of estrogen receptors had a, made a difference in survival rates but we don't know whether that's a significant difference or, or any way to kind of evaluate that other than to point at the graph and say hmm, looks like a difference to me but there is a way to do that and that's by comparing the confidence intervals around these survival curves and so if we do that in section 8 uh, the code shows us how to do that there is one package uh, RMS, the RMS package, um, which, let's look that up, is a package on regression modeling strategies, uh, but it, it's another one of these packages that contains a lot of miscellaneous material. Uh, the RMS package does a better job of displaying these confidence intervals, so we're going to pull that one in, and once again, I'm not highlighting correctly, um, pull that in. Uh, run its version of the serve reg function in survival. So in survival, the survival package, the serve reg function is what generates the fit. Now the equivalent of that in RMS is NP serve. It's just a, a different vocabulary. Uh, and then we can create a plot that is then shaded according to the confidence intervals. So here we're looking at the differential between survival rates for those who received the hormone treatment and those who did not. And uh, hormone treatment helps. And is it a significant difference? Well, with this shaded confidence interval, we can see the 95% the confidence interval around the hormone treatment group uh, is in many cases not overlapping at all with the survival curve for the those who did not get the hormone um, treatment. So that's an indication at least out beyond say 900 days or so around here uh, that for this zone uh, there is a clear statistically significant difference and again this is just an extract of our of the larger data set this is a 100 observations. If we, w if we were to look at this with the larger data set, we would actually narrow those confidence intervals quite a bit um, and be able to have some stronger predictions. Um, but so this is the, the serve plot function that will generate shaded confidence intervals like this. A slightly more quantitative way to look at that is to look at the uh, differential between the two survival curves and this is called serve diff plot the command and so this shows us that the non-hormone treated group has a, a you know for most of this span about a 20 percent uh, reduction in survival probability um, according to our estimate but is that statistically significant well this is the 95 percent confidence interval around the differential. So it's really just one number. We're not having to deal with this issue of overlapping confidence intervals so much. And so here we can clearly state that at least for these bands uh, from about 1200 days up to 1800 and 2100 to 2400 that uh, it's significant at a 95 percent level. Um, if we ignore this little bump right here it's you know it, it, we can be reasonably confident about the entire range between 1300 and 2400. If we were to modify that plot and plot a 90% confidence interval or so, I'm sure we'd have a, a, a larger range of significant difference. But this is one way to 
uh, be a little bit more quantitative and precise about where that differ differential is um, is statistically significant, at least from a confidence interval approach. So once again, serve plot plots the two co two survival curves and shows you the overlapping confidence inter confidence intervals around the survival curve. And serve diff plot uh, takes the differential between the two survival curves, so expresses it just as a plus or minus in terms of better or worse survival, and plots the confidence interval around that. Um, we also have numerical tests, uh, just pure numerical tests um, that will, uh, this is a little bit, you know, getting into the weeds of methodology, but uh, specifying rho equals zero is a log rank test. Uh, rho equals one is and is the pitot and pitot modification of the Gehan Wilkinson test. Uh, those are just two methods that people use, um, but this will produce if you run this serve diff command uh, will produce a significance level for the the significance of the difference sort of overall. It is again one way to quantify. Um, does that variable make a difference? So hormone, we can say yes, according to this method. Uh, menopause, no. The, the P level is 0.175, if we're you know, sticking with a traditional 0.055% significance level. Age, no. Um, at least uh, these are the uh, split. We, again, we're splitting the data into two halves, high age and low age, and high, in this case, high progesterone and low progesterone. Progesterone is significant. Estrogen is not. Um, and, you know, we can repeat that for the other method. Uh, that's getting into the weeds. We're going to skip that part. Okay, I'd like to keep this self-contained and start with Cox proportional ha hazards in the next video. So let me stop here.